Uprooted trees are a common sight and a hotly debated topic in Bangalore. But what goes unnoticed and unmentioned is the loss of nearly 250 varieties of tree species in the southeastern dry zone in which the city falls. According to Agricultural Zoning Divisions, the southeastern dry zone includes Bangalore, Kolar and Tumkur. A few years back, this zone that had nearly 500 tree species has now lost nearly half of them to the rapid and unplanned development in its cities. Bangalore city, which covers an area of 820 square kilometers and receives an average annual rainfall of up to 859 millimeter, now only has 140 species of trees. One of the endemic trees found in Bangalore, the Nagalingam, a tree whose flower is believed to be a favorite of Lord Shiva, is increasingly difficult to find in the city there are hardly hand count of trees left. Likewise, a large number of other tree varieties have been lost in the city. History has it that during the British period, there was a loss of green cover when the administration uprooted trees to clear land for development. The trend was reversed when the Mysore Maharajas took over as they instructed the Jagirdars to plant different varieties of native trees to maintain biodiversity. But now the future of endemic tree species is a question that is looming large in the minds of local ecologists. Governmental bodies like Biodiversity Board has initiated programs like a gene bank for endangered species and a botanical garden, which however houses only medicinal plants. But for all the lip service paid to conservation in seminars and conferences every year in the city, Few concrete steps are being taken to reverse the trend of declining endemic tree species. For a city that has lost half of its centuries old native tree species in just a few decades, Bangalore's civic authorities seem remarkably unmindful of the issue. <laughs>